YouTube, it's your boy Chef Fellow, back with another video, and this video right here is banging. Today I am making crawfish shrimp alfredo pasta. Instead of using angel hair and fettuccine that I always use, I'm going to do it different with egg noodles today. The same noodles that you use for chicken noodles. But in the meantime, I hope you guys having a good Mother's Day. Hope all your mothers out there are blessed and doing the right thing. And you know, we gotta take care of our mothers. We gotta respect our mothers. We gotta be there for our mothers. You know what I mean? So, I wanna make sure I put that out there. Also, I hope you guys are practicing your social distance, wearing your hand sanitizer, wear your mask, and try to stay social distance for people that's sick or ill. You don't wanna take it back to the loved ones. But this video is gonna be banging today. Today I'm doing two types of dish. I'm doing a dish with crawfish for just me because I don't eat pasta. I'm doing crawfish and shrimp and mushrooms and corn in my pasta. The rest of the pasta are doing Alfredo. We're going with green onions, spinach, you know what I mean? It's a mixture in here. So, also we got other types of tomatoes going inside our pasta. But uh, this video is going to be banging. So, I want to show you guys, I'm going to go ahead and put my shrimp in here. Let's put this shrimp in here. Shrimp. We got crawfish. We're going we're gonna to cook this down. Yes, look at all that. We're going to cook all that down with butter, corn, and also we're going to use some lemon juice. I might use the corn. Might use the corn because some people don't like the corn. But we're going to start by cooking this down. And we're going to get back. I got to put my hat on. Thought it's my napkin. Got to put my hat on. Because I want to protect this food from any hair coming from my hair. You know, I got my little hair cut today. You know, got it whipped up. Yesterday was my wife's birthday. You guys, in the comment box, if you want to say happy birthday to my wife, I appreciate that. But we went to the boat. Got some things to eat. You know, now it's on Mother's Day. So I'm back working, it's Mother's Day, so I gotta take her to wifey. So this is what we about to do. So hold on, Chef Velo, I'm gonna get back with you guys. So, this right here, we're using this, I'm gonna make my own homemade garlic bread out of these right here. I wanna show you guys for the pasta. Nice, nice combination with the pasta. But as you can see, I have my sliced bread right here. So what we're gonna do for our pasta, we're chopping up a roasting blend, which is to have parsley, rosemary, thyme. We're gonna chop that up, and we're gonna chop up some fresh garlic and put it inside our butter to melt down for our toast, okay? So you guys, I'm about to get this thing started up here. I'm using axes. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of access on there. I'm going to cook all this down, man. All this going to be cooked down because it's going in our pasta. So we got our seafood season. Seasoning was, makes the food. It makes the food, man. I love it. Because you you just, just by you just putting season on top, it's not fully getting fully inside the food. So you want to, you want to keep it on top. In the middle, you want to stir it up by your hands. As long as your hands clean, you can use it. So I want to, I want to uh, get my season outside my meat. Then I like to use a little crushed pepper for a little heat in my pasta. I, I like a spicy pasta. Then the last but not least, I gotta use my lemon pepper. So. As this cook down, we'll get the stirring in in a minute. In the meantime, I'm going to get ready to chop my rosemary up, my thyme, and my parsley, and my garlic for my uh, for my butter. So you guys, we're going to top this pasta off with some fresh Parmesan. Ooh wee! And we got lemon juice for our pasta. So we're about to get this thing rolling. So you guys stay with me, like I always say, this is gonna be banging. 
It's going to be banging, baby. So strap your seatbelt on and come on, take a ride with your boy, Chef Velo, and I'll be right back. So as you guys see, I have my crawfish and my shrimp cooking. And I already got parsley in here, but I'm also going to add garlic that I have here. I'm going to chop up garlic, and I'm also going to do my rosemary and my thyme. So let's start by chopping up this garlic. I want to chop it up. I want to put little chunks in there because I want the garlic to cook inside the butter. You know? So what I do sometimes is go right now and just chop it. Chop it just like that. Or it's just moving. All right, let me get my staple. Get this staple here. I'm chopping up my garlic. I had to get my cutting board stable because it kept sliding on me as I was cutting up everything. So I'm cutting up my garlic. I'm gonna put this garlic in the butter. Got extra butter there. Because I want to make sure everything is just in the garlic butter and I want enough butter to gla glaze my bread. But we're gonna take these these little bread out here, we're gonna put them on a the pan. And we're gonna bath them down in this brush. So, I'm gonna cut this up. Then I gotta cut up some rosemary. We'll put our butter, I mean, our garlic in there. Slide that in there. All right. Meantime, I'm taking my rosemary out. I got rosemary, thyme, and what I do to my rosemary, I pull it right off the stem. You can pull it right off the stem. Mm. Just, just pull it. Should come right off the stem. Man! Now you guys, you guys got to be safe out there. Number one thing. All my guys on YouTube following me, I appreciate that. Appreciate you guys for subscribing to my channel, following me. And I'm going to keep producing these videos, keep putting them out here. So I want you guys to continue on following me. I got your back. We got a long way to go. So I'm chopping up thyme and rosemary together. But I want to cut it up real thin. Cilantro. Put that over there. Now it's coming there. So you want to pick it all the way off. Pick it off. You want to take it completely. Because you don't want that to get caught in your throat. So that's why you have to make sure. You take it right off. Off the stem. Alright. Right over to the side. Got another one in there. Alright. I'm going to chop this up. Real good. You hear that crunch? That's rosemary. Rosemary leaves are pretty hard. So I'm gonna save some, put some in my butter, but I'm also gonna save some for my seafood thing that I'm doing. Cause I can't have pasta, so I'm going to put a little bit in there, a little bit in there, okay? I'm going to save the rest, all right? Hey, you guys, stay tuned. I have cherry tomatoes I have to cut up for our pasta. I got to cut up lemons, chives. I got to cut up cilantro, yellow onions. So hold it down. I'll be right back. So what I'm going to do is add some paprika to it. Give that nice smoke flavor, you know? I'm going to add that to it. But in the meantime... I have my cherry tomatoes over here, so these going in my pasta also with my spinach. So what I do to my cherry tomatoes, I cut them up real thin, because I want them to go in my pasta, if, if they make it through. Normally I'll sit here and just, I eat all of these tomatoes, man, just regular, just pop them like they Tylenol. So, I want some big chunks in there, put more chunks in there. 
so man this is gonna be delicious after we chop these up we're gonna start our lemon juice we want to get our lemon juice fresh lemon juice you want to cut it down and then I'm gonna take a spoon get all the juice out of the lemon fresh lemons all right what we want to do mm. Y'all go. It's not helping though. Fresh tomatoes and a pasta. Go big a little bit. Cut them in half. Let's let you guys see this pasta. This uh, crawfish. See my shrimp cooking? So when your shrimp start turning like that, that's when you know it's cooking. You want to get it nice, get it nice and stink. And what it's doing, look at the butter there and there. It's just sitting in the butter, slow cooking. You don't want to rush your food. That's one of the keys. You don't want to rush it. Back to my tomatoes. Uh, this week coming up, I'm doing an Italian meatball sub. Also... I got some pizza bread coming up. Pizza. We got we got a lot of stuff lined up to do. So and then I'm gonna get off into some tradition meals, some southern meals, some lamb. Uh, I'm gonna do you guys uh, a barbecue meatloaf. Uh, but I make a sandwich out of it. I cook it down just like a regular barbecue. I mean regular meatloaf. Cook it out in barbecue sauce. Then I take it out for about 15, 20 minutes, let it cool down. Then I slice it. Then I re-saute my, my, uh, my meatloaf. Then I put it on a Hawaiian bun with coleslaw and fried onions. Barbecue meatloaf sandwich with some fries or some home fries or something like that. You guys will love it. So when I do it, you guys just look in the comment box and let me know. And I'll, I'll give you guys little recipe to it how I do it so definitely it's going down so I was going to cook for my wife on her birthday but she's like you cook all the time so we went to a nice little spot in Indianapolis where we live they call it St. Amos and they kind of cook your food right then and there Right in front of you, they cook it right there. You guys, you got your wife or your husband. If you are ended up in somewhere, stop in. It's a nice restaurant. You guys can go there. They sell steak, and sushi, a lot of different types of food. Also, we're gonna get off into some sushi soon. Uh, I'm gonna normally I don't do rice, so I use cauliflower rice for my sushi, tuna, chicken, stuff like that. We're gonna get off into a lot of a lot of different types of food culture. And uh, I wanna show you guys my butter that I'm gonna melt down. I got my garlic in there, my rosemary, my thyme, and everything. It's gonna melt down. And in a little bit, I'm gonna do the lemon juice and chop up my green onions. And I have like half of a yellow onion that I'm dice up to put in. With my butter. Putting those in with the butter. So I'm kind of switching over right quick. Get my tomatoes cut up because it's time consuming. And I want everything's gotta be on a on the right. Turn it up like that. Right, this is gonna be good. So what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna take this out, switch it over to another bowl. And I'm going to get this ready for the corn, crawfish, mushrooms. And over here, this is where I'm going to do the pasta. And I'm going to boil the pasta in there. But this right here is where I'm doing the sauteed pasta and everything. So, I don't use angel hair before. I don't use uh, fettuccine, different types of pasta. Also, I have another dish I'm coming out. Deep fried ravioli with uh, a ragu sauce and hard parmesan cheese and pepper jack cheese shredded on top. So, 
get off into that too. Mm. So, you guys stay tuned. And we're going to get ready for our lemon juice. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take this half of a yellow onion, call it yellow onion or white onion, either or, and we're going to cut it and put it inside our, we're going to dice it up, we're going to dice it up real good. And what we're going to do, we're going to put it in there. Because once it melts down, I know I'm dropping stuff. I'm going to dice it all up. You guys smell that? Huh? Got our corn here. It's going inside with the mushrooms and all that good stuff. Look at that. So what we're going to do after this cook down, we're going to drain it. You better stop acting like that. I'm going to tell the camera people, people that's watching, that my daughter's acting foolish, y'all. So, stop doing it. I won't put you on the spot. I'm trying to focus here. She want to play with me, y'all. My baby. My baby girl. Married with five, three girls, two boys. 120, 119, 117, 114, and one is 12. And man, my daughter still be talking about me. Talking about me. I got my pajamas on. Wheaties. I eat my Wheaties. It's a rainy day today. So I'm up doing what I do best and what I love to do. Because I like to make banging videos. You hear me? Straight banging videos. I love videos to be banging. Because I want my followers to see. This stuff is banging. You guys, I'll let you guys know I'm working on a season two. I will let you guys know when I when that drops. And we're gonna dice these up. We want them real, real thin. And we'll come back. We're gonna do our lemon, our chives. We're gonna move on down the road. Get off into some deep stuff. I know you guys are ready. I'm gonna bring it to you. I wanna dice my onions up. key of dicing it is you want it real you don't want it too big who's going to make me cry oh yes man up for all the ones that don't have their mother this year my heart goes out to your guys family for the ones that lost their mother in the, in the corona thing, my heart goes out to your family. May God be with you guys, bless your family, and watch over you guys, okay? All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to add this. Gonna add our, ugh, I'm all shook up, still sleepy. We're going to add our uh, onion to our butter. And the next thing we will be doing, melting it down and glazing that. So, that's coming. All right. In the meantime, you know, spilling stuff out, just gotta clean it up. But in the meantime, we're gonna get ready to make this lemon juice, and I'll be back with you. So, that. Uh, so, what I'm doing? I'm gonna take this right out of here. So, ooh, see that? That's what I want, but not on me. One in the bowl. So, I'm gonna take that out. Then what I do, take my seeds out. Gotta take the seeds out. Don't wanna swallow one of those. So take this out, my seeds. I mean, it's an old school way. 
putting it right into the bowl. Yes. So, smash this down. Now smash it down. All the lemon juice. And even sometimes, you don't have too many seeds in it, which most lemons don't have. They have like three seeds in them. You know? It's fresh lemon juice. Gonna have okay. Right now, what we're gonna do? This is my bowl for my crawfish and shrimp. I'm gonna put it over here. Right now, what we're gonna do? We're going to chop up some chives. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. After I get my seeds, like that. I'm gonna take our chive. This is for the pasta. This is going on the pasta. It's getting done. This is going on top. I love chives, I love parsley, I love lemon juice. It, you know, it just does something more flavorful to your food. One day, I'm going to have my wife on the show so you guys can see my wife. She runs from the camera. She's not ready for it yet. I need so much because I'm making seven pastas. So you want to make sure you have enough things that's going inside of them, inside of your pasta, like chives, tomatoes, spinach, whatever you want to use, chicken. I put broccoli. I do different types of pasta. And one day, maybe you guys can see my uh, my muscles. And my clam pasta that I have. take our crawfish out you know what I mean I'm gonna do some cleaning right quick you guys cleaning my area because it's all about keeping your area clean too and we're gonna get right back with you guys now I'm gonna get ready to cut up my cilantro yeah this is for the pasta And you want to cut up cilantro real thin too. Because 9 times out of 10, you're going to cut the sticks up with it. But if you cut it up right, you know, the sticks will not hurt you. So after we get our pasta done, the, the chives and the cilantro will go right on top. Man, you're talking about something delicious. smaller so as I do that I'm going to scoop it up put it in our bowl and I got a little bit more to go 
But after we do, we cut up our cilantro. We're gonna get ready to prepare our garlic bread. Put it in the oven. Ugh. So I'm gonna be banging! Man, it's good stuff. You know, I, I do stuffed garlic rolls too. We're gonna have a, we're gonna have a fire in this year. Yes. I want to say everybody that follow me on Facebook, I mean YouTube, also TikTok. Thank you guys. So you can find me on TikTok too. I'm everywhere. Look at this nice. My wife said, you always turn the kitchen out. I said, baby, I do it for you. But I, also, I clean the kitchen too. I do. She just know I'm going to use a lot of dishes. But it's okay. We got a dishwasher. It goes quicker. So we almost got this finally cut out. And we're going to get everything cleaned up over here so we can get ready to prep our garlic bread. Okay? I want you guys to sit back and watch the TV. Drink your cold beer. Dance a little bit. Get your pencils and paper and take some notes. There we go. We're going hard on the paint. Your boy Chef Bello, I'll be right back. Now, you guys want to see the butter. I got the butter nicely done. See my onions, rosemary, my garlic, all working together. So what we're going to do is first, I'll put a little before down, better ran out. So I'm going to put my butter. Spray butter right here so my so they don't stick. Alright, okay. Now and I'm just gonna you know, I'm just gonna brush it on there. I wanna brush brush it on there. Put it like that. Brush that stuff on there, man. Look at that. I'm gonna brush it on there. Let them take a good look at that. Got to love it. Then, look at that. Brush that butter on there. And we're going to get ready, after this, we're going to get ready to take our crawfish and our shrimp off and get ready to make this pasta. So you guys can really see Okay. Look at that. I can't eat bread because if I could, man, I'll be on it. But I can't. Oh man, look at that. Just give it a little dap. Give it a little dap. I did something like this like a year ago and I put bacon on top and a little cheese. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna dap that. We're dapping. My kids tell me, Daddy, you cook too much. They don't say that after I get done. When I get done, they burger like Tasmanian devil, man. No, because they forgot. Daddy have it banging. That's what I do. I have it banging. And I'm going to use this butter, what I have left over, on my crawfish that I'm going to cook with. I'm going to recycle it because it's still good butter even though you're brushing it onto a little toast. It's not going to hurt. I don't want to waste no food. Uh, if I feel like I'm going to waste it, I give it to somebody else. So, I'm going to dab that. You can see the onions. You can see the onions just in there. And the onions gonna cook inside the bread. And that's what we want. Nice garlic flavor. It'll be nice little pepperoni and cheese with bread I make. I wanna get them all on there because my daughter's them. 
and eat this whole tray in one test of pasta. But let's take a look at our pasta over here. The end of time your shrimp turn red, crawfish turn red, it's ready. So we'll take these things off in a minute. Yes, sir. How many can we fit in there? You gotta make room. So I figure it out. You gotta make some room. You gotta figure it out. So we're gonna hit this. This right here. What's that? We can fit one more in the corner. What y'all think? Can we get one right there? Let's see. It's all about a puzzle. Got a little one. Bam! See that? You guys, so as y'all see, you got them nicely. And then what I'm gonna top them off with is a little bit more season of rosemary that I'm gonna put on top of here. Yes. Look at that. And you guys, hold your seat. You got to go for it, man. Let's do it. Now, you guys, I'm going to put this in the oven for about 20 minutes on 350. Get it ready for the oven so we can get ready to do our pasta. It's going in the oven. In the meantime, my pasta, my crawfish, and my shrimp is done. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dump this right in here. Yes. Now, you see the shrimp on the bottom? We're going to let this cool off a little bit. And what I want to do, stir it up. Stir it up nicely. I want to put my lemon juice on it. Put the lemon juice and marinate inside the shrimp and the crawfish. All right. You guys stay tuned. We're coming back with more. And it's banging. Now, you guys, this is my crawfish and my shrimp dish that I make for me. You know what I mean? I'm going to add some corn in there. I want some corn. Yes. Lovely corn, corn. I had to turn it off. I'm sorry about that, guys. And I'm wasting corn everywhere. So, got my corn in there. Man. Ooh wee! You guys just don't know. Let me take a good look at that. So, what I do to mine. I'm adding a little rosemary in there. Rosemary, chives, and I cook mine down in lemons. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm going to put a little heat in there. A little peppers. I like a little heat. 